color is it's just fantastic you'll get the sparkle and the glamour and the elegance okay what are you making now okay we are going to make flowers i'm going to show you how to make either this beautiful fanciful fuchsia or how to make the incredible lilac. <gasps> now, this. these are 3D flowers which you will create by die cutting and stamping the pieces. So if I show you first of all what comes in the set, if we go to the fuchsia, okay. fuchsia's down here. Yes. So can it's you gorgeous. see in the set you get a set of the clear acrylic stamps and you get the set of the matching dies. So each one of these you're gonna stamp and die cut exactly over the stamp. So can you see, this is the die. When you die cut it and stamp it together, it makes this. So you've got the, all the different component parts you need and that together when it's all kind of comes together and that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you it makes that's that gorgeous. beautiful three-dimensional fuchsia now that's the fuchsia and that's the one that I they're, believe they're is in the lead the at the card. moment the it's, great ampli it's great if you love flowers blooming you um, love you've got to get this for the floral designs this one's the lilac now again I love, yeah. I love yeah I love lilac so I can tell you love purple <laughs> <laughs> what gave me away yeah. <laughs> but, um, but it's the fact that it cuts in all of this detail in the inside of the lilac piece so again when you looked at the finished samples mm -hmm. the finished samples were just incredible now because I've only got five minutes to demonstrate this what I've done is I've all Already pre stamped and die cut and then just colored over all of these okay. right sure. so let me show you how this is going to start and come together so if first of all I take the um let's have a look we'll start with the very very center piece right so this is the center piece of my fuchsia and all I'm going to do is roll it round in my fingers so I am specifically not using any clever flower forming tools or anything that I thought you might not be guaranteed to have at home then what I'm going to do is take this piece. So this then shapes in your hands. Do you know, I'd love to know how many people come back and watch this presentation over and over again <laughs> when they get this, just wanting to know how to put it together, right? And this is so, brand new, I just have to tell you. All you're choosing is fuchsia or lilac. Okay, go ahead. So brand spanking new, I love I'm it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue in the uh -huh. middle there, and then I'm going to just glue in my center stamen, right? So that is just going to dry while I make the next piece of the flower. So for the next piece, again, I've just got the leaves, and and I'm just now going to shape them around. So these are going to come around, and again, they're going to fold up to make the bottom part of the fuchsia, right? Mm -hmm. And then I've got the cone piece. So, I mean, how on earth would you sit and make these if you didn't have um, all of these component parts? But the fact that Sheena, who is our resident in-house designer artist, uh -huh. has put it all together for you sure. means you cannot fail to go wrong. So right? this was all made in tandem for all of the Sheena stamps range? It was. Okay. Everything it's beautiful. works beautifully. So, again, just a little bit of hot glue. And I'm just using hot glue because it's a little bit quicker for me on the shore. So don't you worry, guys, if I burn my fingers trying oh, no, to no. demonstrate this as fast as possible. Okay. Um, you're going to you're going to probably use a, a, a tacky glue at, at home. It takes a little bit longer. <laughs> We're going to have a blooper. It doesn't burn your fingers, right? <laughs> no, we're so, fine. So, tiny little bit. Uh -huh. I'm now going to stick the top part that we made to oh, that wow. bottom part, right? Wow. And you can see how I've created that element of the fuchsia straight off, right? It's gorgeous. And you're just going to create a couple of those. And then I've also stamped the leaves. So can you see if I just take my card? So you can create lush landscapes, um, anything with the dimension. I'd look at, look at, just look at the dimension and the texture. They really just pop off the card and it, it's like you have a blooming flower that you just picked from the garden. It's gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. And then just how easy is all of this to go together? And now, um, now I know the time taken is in the die cutting and the stamping, uh -huh. but that's the bit that you guys all enjoy, right? That's the really crafty bit. I want you to see how putting it together can be super easy once you know what you're doing. So here we go, and then I'm gonna take my little fuchsia, and that is just going to sit quite neatly on here, um, and actually, if, if I was taking my time a little bit more, I'd probably make a couple of these. So You're doing a great fusion. job. Doesn't it? it it's just <laughs> nice for you to see. I can't believe you quickly. can do this so quickly. Oh, I've, I've learned to be really quick <laughs> with this stuff. There's always a lot of stuff I like to show people. Um, so I've learned to be really quick. Now, you can Aww. see how when I've done two of those... So pretty, How so delicate. fantastic does this look? So this is two of the fuchsias. Now, this is just one idea, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I want you to come and have a look at the finished samples that the design team have done, because I think when you wow. see them, yes. you're really going to be blown away. It's, it's, it is now, incredible. I specifically picked the fuchsia to demonstrate live because uh -huh. that was the more difficult. Okay. If you look at the lilac, the lilac's actually super simple. All you're going to do with the lilac is you're going to stamp 
and then you're going to die cut over the top and it'll die cut all these little pieces and then you can just stick the little pieces back on top and you die cut the leaves as well as the lilac now you imagine if you were having to cut in fact i've got one here to show you up close if you were having to cut that lilac by hand if you were having to cut through every little bit look look at the edges on there every little piece of that by hand fussy cutting well, you just wouldn't do it. Whereas to have a die makes it really simple, makes it perfect every time you do it. So just pick your lilac or pick the fuchsia. I, I, I don't know which one. It's a tough time to choose. I mean, I think I'm partial to the fuchsia because you got your fuchsia dress on. And, we, and it's, it was so beautiful. But when you the, look at this. The mixture. Let me, let me just come around and pinch one of these other cards so you can see. Oh, let's <gasps> get this one here, wow. right? So you think about this. If you were going into a store yes. and buying some fuchsias mm -hmm. to stick onto a card, right. how much would you pay? for a set of fuchsias like that. You'd probably be paying two to three dollars for, for each one, potentially, sure. right? So actually, by the time you've created quite a few of these, and fuchsia, it's not like fuchsia's the on-trend flower for 2019. Uh -huh. I mean, they never go out of fashion fuchsias. No. They are beautiful. Your pinks, your pinks. Really loved flowers. And you're gonna do them all year round. And you oh. could vary the colors. So gorgeous. So once you've got that, again, dyes are tools. So once you've got that tool, you can keep coming back to it time and time again, creating beautiful cards like this. So just pick fuchsia, just put lilac you can't go wrong it's absolutely gorgeous that would make such a beautiful wedding card or um, just gorgeous anybody who loves a garden you're giving a card to somebody